all of us, we could take our work and think of work as being like a gift. I, I personally believe that one of the greatest gifts outside my love that I can give another human being is my labor. But there's three gifts of labor you might have within your nature, meaning you can master anything. But under stress, people tend to go back to their true nature. And there are three gifts of labor that you can give. One of those gifts we might call the gift of being an artist or a talent, or another word for it be a truly skilled producer. Some people, the reason you know this is your gift is what you love to do is to create a product or service and deliver it to people, and you're enamored by that. The woman over here who was doing the work, if you recall, you know, in hospice, she would be a perfect example of an artist. She's not in it. She wants to make money, don't get me wrong, but she would never trade the money for the impact. So when someone is in it as an artist, and by the way, most businesses are started by artists. There's somebody who was an amazing negotiator, an amazing fashion designer, amazing code writer. And they said, I work for this company and they don't do a good job for customers and I can do a better job. I don't work for them. And they start their own company thinking that the company is all driven just by the sales or the negotiation or the code or the fashion. But a company is much more complex than that, especially as it grows. So an artist is in it for the impact and yes, they want to make money, don't get me wrong, but it's not the first thing and they won't trade it. When I talk to artists about selling their business, they look at me like I'm trying to sell their child. The second gift you might have is the gift of being a manager leader. A manager leader is someone who lives to manage people and processes. They love to figure out how to maximize a business by changing the gears, creating a new process, working with people. And those people love it. Now, they are not artists in that their talent or skill, they're not there delivering it directly to the client. They want to work on the people that are directly delivering the client. They want to work on the system that makes this business work. And so they think it differently. They're inspired by different things. They make different decisions. Is one better or worse than the other, yes or no? No, they're just different. And by the way, you might say, I have both those skills. I bet you do, but they're not equal because they're different types of skills. So you might have them both, but there's one that is your true nature, that when things are going well, you're going to go back to it. When things are really f***ed up, you're going to go back to it. Under stress and under excitement, we return to our nature. By the way, a great company can't be great without great artists, talent, who really deliver extraordinary products or services. A company cannot maintain greatness and grow unless they have some great manager leaders who can run the process and the people. They're both critical components. The third choice of service, the true gift you can give, is that of an entrepreneur. And while most of you in this room would call yourself an entrepreneur, and you would be entrepreneurial, by this definition, it's a little different. Most people think of an entrepreneur as anybody starts multiple businesses. No, that's not true. Some artists are multiple businesses because they want to get all kinds of things for all kinds of people. Some managers want to do multiple businesses so they feel like they have multiple systems. But an entrepreneur is in it for one thing, the juice of risk. They want to make money. And by the way, an entrepreneur, will they sell this business, yes or no? For the right price, they'll sell anything. And their mindset is, it, sell it, I'll start another one. Sell it, I'll buy another one. They are not attached. They might enjoy the product or service. They might be proud of the product or service, but they're in it for the risk. And they're the kind of person that when they lose massively, they jump up, dust themselves off, and want to do it again. 